Hello and welcome everybody. Today we'll be using Unity to set up a VR development environment in 10 minutes. It's not a lot of time, so let's get started. All right, so starting off, we're gonna open up Unity Hub. If you don't have Unity Hub installed, make sure to go to their website and install it. And then you're gonna wanna come into installs and you wanted to install uh, 2020.3.25F1. Now, I'm sure Unity is going to update this uh, throughout the year, but if you're using 2020.3 point, you know, any number after this and it's long-term support, this tutorial should work for you. And then we're going to want to open up this, go to add modules, and we want to make sure that we have a few modules already installed here. And if you don't, you're going to want to install them. And those modules are going to be the Android build support. And that's going to allow us to deploy for uh, Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. And then you're going to want to have the Windows build support, which will allow us to develop and deploy for PC. Now, once we have those two modules installed, we're going to want to go over to projects, start a new project. And you can see here, there is a VR template that we can use, but we're not going to do that because it doesn't use something called the XR Interaction Toolkit, which is a nice toolkit that's still in development. Um, and honestly, if we're going to add it and we use this template, we're going to have to swap a bunch of things around. So we're just going to start with a 3D foundation. We'll give it a name, something like Unity VR 2022. Why not? and create project and it'll take a little bit but with the magic of editing this will be done in two seconds for me now that our project has been created we're going to install some packages so go to window package manager and we're going to have to activate something called advanced project settings uh, we do that by clicking this little cog here click there and there we are enable preview packages that's what we're after so go ahead and click that. It's going to give you a little warning, let you know that these packages are still being developed and they'll change. I understand. Thank you. And after that, we're going to click up here, go to Unity Registry, and we're going to look for the XR Interaction Toolkit. And the XR Interaction Toolkit is this nice little toolkit that kind of has a lot of already set up controls for VR development, so locomotion, turning, um, you know, mappings to hand controls, and it, it's going to make development a lot quicker. So we're going to go ahead and install that. And it'll take a few moments. And it's going to pop up with this. And it's going to let you know that it's using the new input system. And so we're going to have to restart Unity. Just click yes and Unity will restart. So now that our project's restarted and it's using the new Unity input system, we're going to want to go back to the XR Interaction Toolkit. Let's see, here it is. And we're going to want to go to Samples and then import this default input actions. And that's going to help us map everything out to our controllers for a wide range of controllers. So definitely make sure you have that imported. And then one other package that I like to install is the universal render pipeline and so this step isn't a hundred percent necessary i just like to use it because it helps optimize graphics for anything from mobile to pc development and since we're deploying to both i don't know i just like using it again you don't have to but yeah you might want to give it a shot Okay, so now that that's all installed, let's kind of see what we're working with, what we brought into our project. Uh, you can right click here now and you can go down to XR and you'll see all these different things that we can spawn. Uh, you know what, we can add this to the project. This is the XR origin action based. And so all that is, is going to be your headset and your hands and you know your, your controllers. So add that to the project and you can kind of see here that it's taking the main camera and it's popped it into here so that's where your headset's going to be and it, it'll track that and then you got your left hand controller and your right hand controller um, but we're going to have to add a few more things to this project before we start developing and so what we want to do now is go into project settings and then come all the way down here to xr plugin management and you want to install the xr plugin management so give that a few moments
Now that that has installed, you can see here we have both a PC tab and an Android tab. And what we're going to want to do for the PC tab is use OpenXR. And OpenXR is kind of becoming the standard that everyone's developing with nowadays. It's just a, what is it? A universal way of controllers being mapped out. So, you know, you don't have to go in and map out different key bindings for the Valve Index and the Oculus Quest 2, uh, which is really, really nice. And so you go in here, it's going to give us a warning. We click it and it's going to say at least one interaction profile must be added. So what we can do to fix that error is come in here, click open XR. And again, we have these two different tabs and let's see interaction profile. See the list is empty. So we'll have to add some different profiles at this plus sign right here. Um, you know, let's cover the main devices that are being used nowadays. We got the HTC Vive, HTC Vive. I don't know why I struggle with that C. Uh, we have the Oculus, got the Oculus Touch Profile, sure, uh, and Valve Index. So we got these three profiles for our PC builds. And so if we look here, look, the error's gone. But we're also going to want to cover the Android one as well. And for this, uh, since it's only really the Oculus, you know, we don't have to use OpenXR, so I'm going to go ahead and use Oculus for that. All right, now that we set up the XR plugin manager, we are going to want to set up the default controls for our left and right inputs. And that's why we use the XR Interaction Toolkit, because it provides some nice mappings already. So if you go to Assets, Samples, XR Interaction Toolkit, two point blah, 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 uh, Default Input Actions, you're gonna see this little list here. Uh, and in the future, we'll get to play with some of this stuff like Continuous Move and Turn, uh, Snap Turn. But right now we're focusing on the left controller and right controller. And we can add those mappings pretty easily. You just click on it there, come up here and Add to action based controller default. Boom, that's one, and that's two. All right, and now that we have all the mappings to our controllers fixed, uh, we can then add one last thing and we'll be ready to test. And that last thing is going to be the XR action input manager and come in here input action manager click that and right here it's going to have an empty list the action assets at a plus and we are just going to click and drag this xr default input actions right into there and so now our mappings are going to work with this input action manager which should help translate between all the different controllers and we can test this out all right, and so now that we have the Action Input Manager there, uh, I'm going to add in a plane just to make our test environment look a little interesting. Not too interesting, all right? We only have 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to come over here and add a new material because white's a little boring, a little bland. Let's see here. Where is she hiding? There it is. And I don't know. Pick, pick whatever color you want. I'm going to... Yeah, why not? That's good enough. I'm just gonna slap that there. Good enough for jazz. And then another thing I like to add, just so I can visually see uh, things are mapping out correctly, are little tiny spheres onto our hands. And I think, what is it? Point two. Point two should work. And we can just copy and paste that here. Make sure it's attached to the right hand. So now we have two little spheres that are going to attach to our hands. And with that, we are all done. Uh, we now have a little tiny VR development room, little project set up and ready to go. And just to show what it looks like, I'm going to go ahead and press the play button. And mind you, I have my Oculus Quest 2 linked up to my computer, uh, ready for debugging here. And here it is, our project all set up, ready to go. Uh, you can see hands are moving. Uh, you can see the spheres. You can see the rays coming out of it so you can interact with things in the future. Now, 
I'm not going to go into any of the interactables, locomotion, or turning in this uh, tutorial. I was just setting up the foundation for us so we can develop in the future. So in the next coming weeks, uh, keep an eye out. I'll have some videos on how to do interactables with different objects, how to do the locomotions like teleporting or continuous movement, as well as turning. So thanks for joining me. I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye.